Yeah. So what what is your tactics then? That's what I said. What does it look like? I, I have no tactics on that. I'm here to attend church. What is your tactic? What's your what tactic? is your uh, what are you representing or whom? We're abolitionists, sir. Okay. We're abolitionists. Let me give you one of our cards. You could look us up on Facebook. Okay. That sounds good. Thank we're you. on the Abolitionist Society of Little Elm. But what are I come over here? I'm coming over here. Thank you. I'm Matt. I'm Randy. Randy, nice to meet you. Okay. Um, right, what are our tactics? Well, this is one. We're trying to wake up the church, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. to what is happening. And it works. Okay. <laughs> it works. Yes, it does. Okay. That's one tactic. We stand out Monday through Friday at the high schools. Okay. Trying to open their eyes because those are secular, godless places right, exactly. that are teaching them that doing that to a little child is okay. Yeah, it's an option. Murder is never a choice or an option. So, you know, and we have lots of people like, like I don't know, I don't know, I didn't ask your name, but like this gentleman here, and, and it's, it's, it's true. Most people consider themselves pro-life or most consider themselves to have a good moral opinion. But what exactly does that look like? Like, it, just like I said to him, that if somebody was gonna drag him away, cut his head off, would our response be, well, I'm, I'm against that. Yeah, but not take action, so. Right. You know, if they were taking, if they made a pass a law this year, said all pastors are going to be dragged away and cut their heads cut off, would our response be, uh, I'm pro-pastor life. I'm going to vote in four yeah. years to make sure that that doesn't happen. Yeah, I get the distinction. Okay. I'm just interested to see what, what the uh, more active form of that might be in voting or... Um, well, of course, we should vote righteously. We never vote for wickedness, right. okay? But what we're doing here, and, you know, once God removes the veil from your eyes to the point where you realize that <laughs> 3,000, over 3,000 babies are being slaughtered every day, that in just in this time that we were speaking, that's what I was trying to say, ask him, how long has he been out? He's been out here since 8.30. That's 40 minutes. 80 babies have died. Well, he was charged by his church to stand and guard that entrance. 80 babies died. Wow. And what, what should our response to that be? Outrage. It should be outrage. And it should be, this can't happen. This can't happen. But unfortunately it is. Like I was telling him, we had HB 948. Were you familiar with that bill? No. HB 948 was put forth in September by Tony Tinderholt, Representative Tinderholt, that would have made abortion totally illegal in the state of Texas. Would have defied the federal government mm -hmm. and would have made this uh, abortion murder in the state of Texas. Representative Pat Fallon goes to your church. I called his office many times. He wouldn't support it. Because he is pro-life. He is not for the ending. And that's why we try to make a distinction when he says he's pro-life. The first thing I say, well, what does that look like? We try to make a distinction because we're not pro-life. We are abolitionists. Right. Okay? And when you have people who say they're pro-life and promote themselves as pro-life and rave money that they're pro-life, okay, and yet they aren't, actually it's the pro-lifers that killed that bill. Your, your pastor is the prayer, count, prayer council leader of the legislature. He didn't support HB 948. He didn't support a bill that would have made abortion totally illegal in this state. Right. Immediately. That's, yeah, that's a pretty hard uh, line, but justifiable. I mean, why, why, why would it be a hard line? Would it be a hard line to say it should be illegal for me to murder that little kid right there? No, of course not. Of course not. See, that's the problem. See, most Christians are ageists. They don't look at that little baby right there and say, well, that baby is just as valuable as that young man. Right. They don't look at it that way. They say, well, that one doesn't, it's not developed yet. It's not as bad. But what does God's word say? That, they're both equal in the eyes of God. They're both created in the uh, image of God. Well, I will use this and... and uh, yeah, go to our Facebook page. We're the Abolition Society of Little Elm. And my name's Matt. Right. Again. Matt, I'm Randy. Randy, it was wonderful talking to you. Thank you for coming and speaking. You're the, you're the only person. <laughs>